What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling. Come on, <laughs> say it with me. Off the chain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. My Colossus family, man. Always a pleasure to see y'all, man. Go ahead. Show your boy some love, man. Show your boy some love. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope the family's good. Hope the bag coming in. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. So, this your first time here on House of Colossus, man. You like the Art of Fragrance. You like Discoveries. You like Hauls. You like the whole shebang shawap, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe button. Come in and have yourself a good time discussing this Art of Fragrance with me and my Colossus family, man. We have ourselves a good time. Just look at them down in the comment section talking about whatever, whenever, you feel me? All right, y'all, so today, I got a massive haul, y'all. I know y'all been wanting me to do hauls more often, so I'm not gonna try to have the video run too long. I think I bought about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve 12 fragrances, y'all, 12 fragrances. So, as always, let's go ahead and hop right in it. I'm gonna start with these guys first, man. Y'all know I just did a video recently on the House of Zoha Aroma, y'all. They sent out your boy some stuff that I really, really enjoyed. They sent out a Saudi Arabia clone. Um, they sent out a Bitter Peach clone from Tom Ford. They sent me some perfume oil and some other stuff, man. I also um, was noted that these are actually identical twins that run this company, not husband and wife, man. So I definitely want to <laughs> put that out there, man. But... I told the boy, I told him, I was like, yo, I'm gonna hit you guys back up. And that's exactly what I did. I wanted to dive into their original creations, man. So that's what I did. I purchased about, I purchased four from Original Wise and they was, hey man, they was really, really, they was really good to me by sending me an extra bottle of something. We gonna hop into that one, y'all. But yeah, this one called Euphogery. Euphogery, I believe that's what it's called, man. Euphogory, and this is original concoction from them, man. I'm gonna just read you guys a note breakdown. This one has notes of cardamom, amber, ambergris, nutmeg, almond, saffron, and pearwood. Haven't given this a full wearing yet, y'all. They honestly just came in the mail probably like, mm, probably maybe like four or five days ago, man. So have I have wore some of them, which will be coming in my weekly rotation as well. But this one, I haven't gotten a feel giving it full wear yet but i'm really looking forward to it man next one i got from them y'all this one i have war this one i have this is nice this is nice this one is called i want to say mahalis because that's a j with the little thingy on the top of it so i'm gonna I'm guess it's supposed to be an h but mahalis this y'all has notes of vanilla coffee cacao tonka bean honey amber and agarwood i wore this to work and i was killing the game i smelled off i smelled off the chain i ain't gonna lie to you man this is supposed to be like their inspired fragrance like a, of an arabian coffee shop man and I've never been in an arabian coffee shop however i know i smelled Num 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 delicioso for sure for sure. I really really enjoyed this man. Longevity on it was great too, man. It transitioned very well. I ain't gonna talk about it too much, but yeah, man. I have given this a full wear and this this that splacker right here, sweetheart, for sure. Um next one I got from them, y'all, is called I have wore this as well, just around the house, which is called Orison Juniper. This is nice too, yo. I just wore this around the house. I didn't give it a full wear and I really, really enjoyed it too. This one has notes of citruses, mint, basil, orris root, juniper, pine pepper, and leather. And this one again is called Oris and Juniper, y'all. I really, really enjoy this, man. Leather ain't that prominent here, but you definitely get like this powdery iris, orris root type of vibe. You definitely get some the citruses in the in the opening, but to me it's like a really clean, 
it's a really clean fabric softener just a clean fragrance y'all i don't get too much leather but it does last a, a pretty long time i really really enjoy it man for but for the most part i get like this effervescent clean fresh powdery woody scent that i really really enjoy definitely gonna get a lot of burn in this upcoming spring and summer for sure for sure again that one being oris and juniper Another one that I got from them, this one also being an original creation. I'm looking forward to wearing this as well. They said this is really, really good for the um, spring and summer as well. I haven't got a chance to give it a full, year, a full wear. I more than likely will anyway as this week continues to go along. But this one is called, oh man, I'm probably going to butcher this one. Uh, Malange, Malange de Arabi. If I'm getting that wrong, my bad. I'm sorry. I apologize. But this one has notes of orange, jasmine, peach, cyclamen, melon, vanilla, and honey. That don't sound like a banger to you? Because it sounds like one to me, for sure. I'm looking forward to wearing this full time. Get, not full time. Wearing this a full session, if that makes sense. But I really, really enjoy this, man. Just off the atomizer right now. I'm just enjoying the house of Zoha as it is, man. Like, you know, I spent my money on these, man. This is quality. I feel like, you know, especially when, you know, you get into new houses, man, there, um, you want to check out everything. And that's exactly what I did. And the one that they sent me for free, y'all, this one is called Encrypt. And this is an inspired concoction by them. And this is their version of Parfums de Marley Layton, which I don't have. I have Lalique White and Black. I have Royal Stallion. Now I got a Layton again. So, yeah. This one has vanilla, apple, cardamom, lavender, pepper, and sandalwood. Sounds like some of the things up in Layton. I haven't given a full wearing yet, so I can't say how close it is, man. Obviously, Roy, uh, Royal Equestrian from Alexandria Fragrance is being a goat for me, but I really do enjoy my Lilac White and Black as well. But yeah, man, those are the ones that I got from Zoha. And uh, yeah, man. Hey, shout out to y'all. Zoha Roman, if you're watching this, man, keep up the good work, man. Y'all doing y'all thug thizzle for sure. Next one I picked up, y'all, was the Middle Eastern Fragrance. Shout out to one of my uh, Colossus family members that put me on, man. I went to go, I went to purchase it. I have given this a full wear, and I am very, very pleased, man. I'm hoping that the longevity gets a little bit better with this fragrance. I'm pretty sure it will, because, you know, first time, first wearing, it may not last that long, which is okay. I'm not really tripping off of it. From the house of Mason Alhambra, y'all, that is Perseus exclusive that I picked up. Y'all know I just got Royal Stallion, which I love. This is their version of Pegasus exclusive. And I can say, man, this is stellar. This is stellar. You're still getting bits of that um, original DNA with the bitter almond, the vanilla, but there's this regal, masculine, seductive, a great woody, oody, medicinal vibe that comes and wraps his body around that vanilla and that bitter almond and just makes it so stellar. Really, really enjoyed it. Six hours on my first, on my first wearing. I'm pretty sure if I let it sit on there, sit on the shelf, not sit on there, sit on the shelf, spray it, get some air in the atomizer, it's going to get better. I, I'm already knowing it will. But yeah, man, I also picked out this one here. That's Perseus Exclusive from the house of Mason Alhambra. Next house that I actually got into, man, I have given these a full wearing as well, and I'm very, very pleased, man. This one, I wanted to get into this house last year, man, but thankfully, through the grace of God, I have the coins where I can do so. I did just purchase their 10 mils, y'all. Y'all know how I'm feeling this year. 10s, 30s, and 50s. Really don't need any 100, 100, 100 mil bottles anymore. Look at the shelf. So, I checked out these guys here, man. This is from the house of Kirk Elliott, y'all. Kirk Elliott. I picked up three from them. I really want to try that sensational one, but that one hasn't came out in a minute. And typically when it does come out, it sells out really, really fast. But I picked up the 10 mils. This first one being ginger in the woods. This obviously has ginger in it. It's woody. It's it's these are mature fragrances. These next three are very mature fragrances, guys that kind of have themselves together or like mature type of fragrances. These aren't gonna appeal to guys that, you know are younger and i guess that's the best way to put it i would say 25 and up crowd there this will probably appeal more to you 
younger guys, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, you know, I'm keeping a buck with y'all. Y'all my family. I don't think the I don't think y'all will like these. I would say try them if you want to get you a 10 mil. They were only 25 bucks. But try it out and see what happens. First one, Ginger in the Woods. The second one I purchased, y'all. This one, oh, this is hey, this is a this is CPD for sure. This one, y'all, being called E K G. E K G. This sexy cinnamon tobacco woody sweet inviting alluring stay the night take your clothes off this is some good stuff again not gonna be for everybody mature <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean got yourself together type vibe this is elegant man i really really enjoy this date night fall and winter around this time right in, right about now I do believe you could probably get away with it in the spring as well. You might just have to adjust your sprays. But this, this is nice. This one actually being my favorite out of the three that I picked up. EKG is an enveloping, it's a really nice scent, y'all. I can't even lie to you. This is good stuff. That one being EKG, but EKJ. What am I saying EKG? What what, what hospital do I work in in my past life, Lord? What, what is it? Anyways, EKJ. That's <laughs> what I meant to say. I should have been a rapper. That was too easy, man. We Wayne ain't got nothing on me. Anyways, I'm just playing. Next one I got, the last one I purchased from Kirk Elliott, y'all. It's called Grapefruit Vetiver. Grapefruit Vetiver. And this one's really nice, too. Again, I, I'm, I guess I got to keep saying it. More mature. Think of a... How can I put it? Think of like Guerlain Vetiver, but with an amped up grapefruit and kind of a little bit of a darker, um, darker scent profile. Like this is heavy. This is, this smells like fresh cut green grass, a little bit of a dewy type of vibe with a tart and sweet grapefruit. This smells amazing. In my opinion, I don't own Guerlain Vetiver. I have smelled it on countless countless times this is a mature again regal grown man scent like this is a fragrance that you have to love the note of vetiver because the vetiver dewy grassy type of vibe that's in here is very prominent but there's this like i said this tart citrus that sits on top of it that just makes it elegant yo like it makes it really really nice and the crazy part about that grapefruit it lasts through the duration of the fragrance Really, really enjoy this, man. All year round, to be honest, work appropriate. I don't think this will be the best thing on a date, in my opinion. But if you've been with that woman for a while and y'all going out, y'all just having yourself a good time, and you just putting something on, and she likes green fragrances, yeah, you could probably pull it off. But I really enjoy that. But EKJ being my favorite. And the last fragrances I picked up, y'all, was from the house of Michael Malou London. By the way, of Jensen's, y'all. I picked up this one here. This one being called Blue Ridge. Now, from my experience, I'm not sure if you... My experience, these smell like designer fragrances. Blue Ridge smells like it could be a part of the Y line. Y-E-D-T. That's what it smells like. Um, I also picked up this one here upper east upper east these are all 15 mils y'all i picked them up off of michaelmalulondon.com they were all 15 dollars i'm not sure if those are still the prices for but definitely check them out if you want to i also picked up this one i picked up four, i picked up all four and there is one more that i didn't pick up i picked up this one here too and this one is called terra nova come on focus in baby terra nova Haven't really got a chance to like smell, smell them yet, but I don't want the video to run too, too long. And the last one I picked up, again, coming from Michael Malou, this one is called Siesta Key. Definitely going to have a first, uh, first impressions video coming out. I don't know if that's coming through on the thing for y'all, y'all, but Siesta Key. Have a first impressions coming for y'all soon on all of these for the most part. And we're going to rock out like that. But yeah, man, like obviously y'all see I'm, 
I got <laughs> 12 fragrances that came in. It's probably like three or four that's coming in. I have one from Paris Corner called Jubilant, which is a Jubilation 25. I also was able to finally, finally pick up Midnight Ecstasy from the Killer Oob. Um, and some other stuff, man. It's a lot that I have coming in. I'm doing my best to try to make the time to actually like record because low key, I've been getting stomped at work. But anyways, y'all, my name is Jeremy. You are tuned into the House of Colossus. I ain't want this to run too, too long. I think we're almost at like 16 minutes or something like that. Until we meet again, y'all, much love from your boy. But hold on before y'all leave. Y'all know I already got to ask. Hey, what new, what new fragrances y'all picked up? Drop them in the comment section because I need to know. What, what, what splack are y'all putting on? I. Alright, put it there. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to leave y'all alone. Now. I ain't going to talk too much. Until we meet again, y'all. Peace.